Hello and welcome. This is Starscream's Ghost with another Transformers review. This is Transformers Beast Wars, basic class Fusor Terrigator. And oh my goodness, do I think this is a pretty figure. Uh, right off the bat, first thing I notice always is this paint detail on, on the, uh, the shell. Boy, is it rare that you see this kind of um, work and design effort poured into a figure uh, nowadays. But back then, this was this was good stuff. Uh, being a Fusor at this time in the Transformers Beast Wars line, they experimented with combinations of different animals to make the beast modes. And for this Predacon, his combination was an alligator and a terrapin, hence the name Terrigator which also is a really, really cool name. Um, there's a gimmick in this mode. If you push in on his tail, his mouth will open. He has a little chomping action. That's pretty nice, I think. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, articulation's pretty limited. These back legs are on ball joints, but they're at a weird angle since they're connected to the tail. And then his front legs are see from underneath um, actually attached all the way back here and they're just kind of uh, tilted up like this so you can move these around to different angles but there's not there's not a whole lot of options um, so articulation in this mode's not that great um, uh, size comparison real quickly here he is with another basic class fusor from this time period this is bantor they look pretty good together. And uh, before we talk about transformation, um, there are some parts, uh, specifically the shell and the tail, that make up most of the beast mode, but are actually just accessories in the robot form. So to transform him, you don't have to remove them, but uh, I, I, I am going to go ahead and remove them. Um, just because it's a lot easier and I can show off more stuff that way. But let's go ahead and get into it. Transforming Terrigator is uh, not necessarily hard, but there's just a few things that uh, are a little bit unorthodox for a Transformer. The first one's going to be coming to the back here and um, unpegging the entirety of his, his shell from his Alligator Terrapin mode. Uh, inside there you'll see is a rub sign for his Predacon symbol. It's not going to show very well, but it is in there. I might have it upside down as well. Try to get the light on that. There it is. And and as well as the shell coming off, his tail section, oh, tough peg, including his back legs, also is removable. Um, that is because inside here, some twin barrels, and this will become his blaster, as this will become a shield. Uh, to finish up the transformation, because you don't have much of a beast mode left, uh, unpeg one arm from the head, fold the other one up, fold his legs back and out. I'm going to take this back portion, fold it down, twist it, and then slide it over. And that's going to be your, your torso. Flatten his feet out. Bring this arm all the way down on that joint, rotate it at the ball joint. Just gonna rotate the whole alligator head over and bring up Terrigator's head. And that's that's all the transformation you're gonna have to do on Terrigator. Now Terrigator, in this state, before you put all his weaponry and such on him, is highly, highly articulated. Ball joints at every every point. Uh, the head has a full rotation. I can still use that transformation joint just to tab it if you want to look down, but it's about all you're going to get. <clears throat> this shoulder can still turn, you know, go all the way around if you need it to. Um, this one's on a ball joint. Ball joints at each elbows. Uh, ball joints at each elbow. And then on the on his left arm, he has a wrist joint that can go up and down, but his right arm is stationary. Uh, you can still swivel the waist. 
The hips are on ball joints, knees and ankles are on ball joints, which really helps with stability. Uh, as for the accessories, you can use that same peg that you connected within beast mode to attach his rifle. Which has some nice mechanical detailing on the inside and looks goofy for a gun, but that was pretty much the whole Beast Wars aesthetic. Um, and then on his other arm, uh, there's multiple ways to do this. You can either connect it the way it was connected in his beast mode, where uh, this claw hand fills in the, the spike detailing along the edge of the, the shield and kind of takes up the whole arm like that. Um, the way I like to think about it is that when you have it connected this way, it uses both pegs inside the shield to go into both of these holes. Or you turn it around the other way, and it's only going to use this upper peg. It's the only one that's going to go in securely. And you get a little bit of the upper arm left, and you can use this more as a shield. And there's your, your interrogator in robot mode. Uh, comparison once more. Here he is with Bantor. Uh, I always love the look of these two together. I, I consider them consider them foes. Uh, just a little a little bit of my own uh, playtime theory. But uh, another comparison before we wrap things up real quickly. Here he is with Transformers Energon Tow Line. Alright, that'll be uh, all I have to say on Transformers Fusor Terrigator. Thanks for checking them out with me, and thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye.